All right, uh, back at you with one more tip for this weekend. Uh, I've been out here, got a lot done today. Uh, got some uh, uh, backboards cut, attached. Uh, I've got some, some more gluing up on the other side of the garage over there. And, uh, but got... <laughs> compressor and uh but i've got a lot of stuff uh coated danish oil got it all drying and uh got some stuff glued up and attached and uh but what i was going to show you this time this is really really good uh when you're uh coating when you're painting your uh cuts with danish oil if you do that kind of thing you can pick these up at walmart they're really, really, they're dirt cheap. And all they are is little slide doors. And I, I just got a bunch of junk in them right now. But uh, if you take this, and these trays are perfect for taking your cuts. And what I do is I pour my Danish oil in here and uh, and then they're big enough to where you can set your cut right down here in this little tray and it is perfect. And then you just soak them in there because it takes a long time to, if you paint this with that Danish oil and coat it, it takes a long time to get all in those cracks and stuff. But you can just put some Danish oil in here and dip them down in there and then take it out flip it over, do both sides. And, uh, but it is perfect for that. And it doesn't take, but about, uh, like two minutes to do the whole thing. And that's all they are is, is they're just drawers that, uh, go to this little bitty deal. You can pick up at Walmart really, really cheap. And, uh, but they're perfect and it saves so much time. And I had like, oh, I had like six pieces over here that I needed to coat. And uh, it didn't take any time using that tray. But uh, it's a really, really good tip. It's the best thing I've used to uh, put Danish oil on stuff. But I think that's it. Uh, everybody have a good weekend. Stay safe. And... Uh, Stay indoors if it's bad outside and eat some cornbread. See y'all later.